want you to know the Father's mom. My prayer for years now has been, I want to know the Trinity. Yes. I don't want to know about Him. I want to know. Yes. I want to know the Father. I want to know the yes. Son. I want to yes. know the Holy Ghost. Yes. And what is so cool about Jesus See, people only see Jesus <laughs> as he came here for 33 years. But Jesus was the Word. Yes, he was. Yes, Jesus he is. is and yes, was and will is. always so, so, be so. the very Word of the Father. Hallelujah. He is the Word of the Father. And the Word, he became flesh and yes, dwelt among us. Amen. And we beheld his glory. Yes. The only begotten yes. of the glory, full of grace and truth. Jesus was the Word. Okay, uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. All things were made through Him, All and right. nothing, nothing that was made was made. Was made. Everything on, you Come see on, came from Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says Jesus made everything. Amen. How cool is that? Yeah. So check it out. He always was. He spoke the world into existence. He created each and every one of us. He came to show us how to live a sin-free life. He paid the price because he knew we was going to be heathens and fall short all the time. Can I get a witness? Amen. So now he's Amen. still praying for us 24-7 that we would not yield yes, to temptation. Amen. Not only that, he loved us so much. He sent us the Holy Spirit. He said, I'm going to the Father, but check it out. I ain't going to leave y'all like orphans. I'm going to send y'all the same helper, the same Holy Spirit that helped me and raised me from the dead and gave me the grace to be holy and without sin and not to yield to the lust of my flesh. That same Holy Spirit, he's going to be with you and he's going to help you and he's going to mold you. He's going to shape you. He's going to convict you and he's going to keep you on that path of righteousness if you yield yourself to Amen. him. Amen. 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 All right, so that's why I love God. <laughs> I can just Amen. keep going on. All right. Let's see. All right. Jesus is still obeying the Father on the throne 24-7, interceding for us that we will not fail and falter when we are led through the wilderness into temptation. One thing that you got to realize Okay, one thing I love about deliverance, I'm addicted to deliverance because I was bound. Hey, check, the first thing you got to realize and you got to recognize, a slave who loves their chains can never be free. Amen. A slave who loves their chains can never be free. Amen. As long as you love them chains, you're just winking at sin and you just, the devil knows, you know, he, he can wait till an opportune time and you still got to crack in that door. Yeah. You got to shut that door. You got you to gotta hate them chains. First you got, first you in Egypt, you're in bondage. But then you got your wilderness stage where you're learning how to walk in the spirit and you're learning how to get deliverance. And you know, 40 years in the wilderness, I don't know how many years you're going to be in the wilderness before you make a decision and you say, that's it, the buck stops here. I'm getting free, come, come hell or high water. I'm getting my freedom. I'm yes. displacing Satan and I'm replacing yeah. him with the all-consuming fire of God and it's going to burn everything out of me that's not of him. Amen. Why do you think I'm on fire? Because I displace Satan and I replace with fire. Hello! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Okay, so I displace and I replace. So then, you, you, when you're in Egypt, you're bound. Then you got the wilderness. The wilderness is you're not bound anymore. You're still bound, but you're, you got, you're working with the Holy Spirit to get them divine strategies, to get the rhemas so yes. you can expose the strong man, so you can start to fast, and you can start to pray, and you can start to get with mama and quit running from her and running to her. Yeah. And then, yeah. after that, then you're going to enter the promised land. Oh, Once you get into the promised land, that's when you start holding people's hands to take them down a journey you don't oh, want. Yeah. You think you've been raped because God didn't like you? No. God allowed that thing All so you right, can hold now. somebody else's hand. Once you get up in the promised land, you because if he take, took you through it, he'll take you to it and he'll do the same for them. Yeah. That becomes your ministry. Yeah. Everything that done happen to you in your life, you know your ministry. I ain't even got to tell you. That's why it's trying to rise itself back up to sabotage your potential so he can take you back out there so you can't be salt and light and rescue them from the pit of hell. Can I get a witness? So nothing is wasted in your life. Everything that you've been through, God allowed it because he knew the moment in time. He knew before the foundation of the world. Every person that you were created to win for the kingdom through your testimony. 
Amen. 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 We are healed by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Amen. You better testify what the Lord done brought you from. Amen. You better see, we think we all had a bag of chips. We forget no. where we come, come from. On, uh -huh. People see me all the time. They see me on a front row praise and worshiping in the scene, but they don't know the hell that I've been through. Amen. I did not Jesus. fall out of hell. I crawled up out of, out the pit of hell and I didn't crawl on my own. I cried out, Jesus. 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 And when I was really serious this time, when I really wanted repentance and I didn't want relief because I didn't want to be found out when I was really sorry, then he reached down and he pulled oh me out that God. pit. You can't play with God. No, you you got to quit playing. If you want relief, you ain't going to get your breakthrough. But when you have the true fruits of repentance, repentance means here you with the devil and now you with God. Amen. And then once you turn, then it's a process of learning how to walk in the spirit. But you can't be... You can't be double-minded. You can't be like, one day I want you Satan, next day I want you God. You can't That's be right. like this. Amen. you got to make a decision. God, I'm going all the way with you. And the, and the things of this life, they grow strangely dim. You see? So it's a process. We're being processed. Tell your neighbor, I'm being processed. I'm being processed. Amen. We're all on different levels. We're all in different places. But we're all running this race to receive the upward prize for the call of God in Christ Jesus. We are all running Amen. like forests. We run in this race. We run in this race to receive the victor's crown of life. Amen. 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 Woo. Okay. Lord, why do I keep getting off guard? All right. <laughs> Let's, okay. You see, the Holy Spirit he led, the Holy Spirit is the one who led Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days to be tempted by Satan after he was baptized in the Jordan River from John. And what that did was that prepared him for his earthly ministry. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, my whole point of the nugget of the day is you training for raining right now. Amen. You are sowing a year getting your marching orders, becoming the warrior that you were created to be. Amen? Amen? So that's what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you did before you walked in these doors. Once you gave your life and your heart to Jesus, once Jesus moved in here and the Holy Spirit moved in here, when God looks at you, all he sees is the blood. Amen. Amen. We have been that's forgiven right. for all that's of right. our sins, but that is not enough. What do I mean by that? What I mean is, God knows that we are forgiven, God knows we're saved, but we are to be a witness to a lost and dying world. If we do not, if we are not consecrated and separated from the world, how are they going to come to Christ if we act just like the world? Amen. Right. Okay. So, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, He is the, ho the Holy Spirit lives in us, and He is... I laughed when the Holy Spirit told me this one day. He said, Angel, who am I? I said, you're the Holy Spirit. He said, right, I am a Holy Spirit. He broke it down like, Holy Spirit. And I was like, whoa. So if he is the Holy Spirit, and he is in us as our helper, anything and everything that we do that is not of a Holy Spirit it is either a devil or it's our flesh. Right. They're so intertwined, it's easy for us to always blame the devil when the devil says, hey, I didn't do that, that was you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think the devil a lot of times would like to say, the God, they keep blaming everything on me, that was them. If you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's easy for us to just, you know, uh, justify and say, the devil made me do this. The devil didn't put a gun in your head. You yielded yourself right. to him. Can I get away? Oh, now. All right? So, right now, you are being molded for your ministry. So it's time to give. So it's time to give. 